Hi everyone, I want to say good afternoon. It is a sunny, absolutely beautiful day. Last day of August here in South Carolina, which is probably the last day pretty much all over USA. <laughs> but anyway, some of the things we say when cameras pop on. But um, anyway, I just want to say hello. And I just had a wonderful conversation with a friend um, that I haven't talked to in a while, but she's always on my heart. And so I want to just share a few things. I really don't know where this video is going to go. And so I'm trusting in the Holy Spirit and what he's going to say and do. And I am just astonished by him every day and what he's doing. And what I've found is um, that he's doing the same thing um, in the spirit realm to all of us. But we're all getting, we're going to get this, the right revelation from it. But he never does things twice and the same. And so each of us get this um, teaching um, and for our appetites, um, just, just serve differently. Um, so we can comprehend or, or that our soul um, gets that transition to manifest to where God wants to get you to go, if all that makes sense. So as I'm talking to the friend, it's just a beautiful conversation um, that what happens is she says something, I say something. She says something, I say something. And at the same time, we're building. When we're building up on, on what the Holy Spirit is doing and, and uh, glorifying Him and giving thanks and praise and... Um, and knowing we're not alone. Um, and that it just fires. It fuels you inside for more. I mean, I just want to jump up and down right now. I'm just so excited. And when somebody confirms um, something for you, I confirm things for her. She actually said, Steph, you made a great impact on me and you didn't even know it. And God bless you for your obedience. And one of the things that hit me is when she said, you did it without uh, not understanding you didn't have to know that part you didn't have to know the why's what who's and how's and so it wasn't done um this by wisdom but it was done by obedience to the lord which he's calling all of us to and and that's a nice thing to hear from someone else and it's not a boasting of yourself it's an, an appreciation that the lord is active and alive in your life and i just love that I just love that. I'm in a great season, I hope, has started, um, that's positioning me for the next. I, I got through the transition. I've also had to help and intercede and stand in the gap for several other people who I see that are absolutely going through this transition, which is the narrow place. And normally in the narrow place, it's also a pretty ugly place because it's, it's cutting your flesh. And that never feels good for anybody. But it's always a necessary um, tool. It's a necessary instrument to go through. And God just knows how to do it. But I want to encourage you to never, ever give up. No matter what it looks like. And the devil wants you to believe that. He wants to frustrate you. He wants you to feel desperate. He wants you to stay in control. And as long as you give way to him, he'll have a heyday with you. And we don't want to do that anymore. Um, that angers me for my friends and family that I see that, and even on me. And I've learned to take that authority. Um, and as I grow and, and the Lord teaches me these things that are they're already there, um, He just wants us to be bold, to be active. If we're going to do the will of God that we pray every day, it's not my will. It's not pacifying me. It's not... You know, there's been dreams and um, things that I'm to do in my life or thought I was supposed to that none of them turned out the way I thought they would. And I think one of those reasons is we we put a ceiling on it. Um, our thoughts can only go so high. Um, so we think it looks like this way. It should go that way. It should happen this way. And then what happens is we really separate, separate ourselves with God and the Holy Spirit 
which he just wants to blow through us. And I saw this happen this past Sunday when I was actually on the prayer line in our church. I didn't feel like going that day. I didn't have a very good night's sleep the night before. And when it came time for prayer time, I actually had this conversation with the Lord. Lord, I don't feel like doing this right now. I don't feel I don't have anything to offer. And so I'm not prayed up. Uh, my soul hasn't worshiped long enough. Um, I'm not prepared. So Lord, here's what I want you to do. Please empty me out of everything of my soul and my flesh and blow through me like a mighty wind for those who need you, who come up in front of me. You do your works and your will and I stay out of the way. And let me tell you, this has been probably about the third time this has happened. The power that came through me to the others was undoubtedly the Holy Spirit. And it's a beautiful thing. And this is what the Lord is asking us to. Trust me. Depend on me. Believe me. Obey me. And so we've been tried in all these things to bring us to this point where we are now. It's not about you. It's not about works. It's about faith. It's about dependency total in his, by resting and letting go. Not knowing what's going to happen the next second. But letting God arise and letting him do what he wants to do. So I'm excited for this next season and what he has. I'm, I'm super excited because I don't know what it is. But I'm to this point now that I know God will. And God is for me. And he's a good father. He provisions, plans. Um, he has it all and we're the vessel and I stand in that and you are an important vessel to the Lord each and every one of you I mean there are some people that I see that they're oblivion to what God is doing in their lives and I can see it and it's magnificent what he's doing in their lives and I kind of like that because God says oh I can use this one He's not trying to figure it all out or her and she's not using her skills and labor or laboring and therefore, I get to step in because they're being childlike, because they're trusting in me, because they're resting. And it's a really neat thing. It's hard um, to get to this point. It has to be done, I believe, by revelation and by the Holy Spirit, not by any works of myself. So I'm forever grateful, forever changed. I bless you today in this next exciting, exciting season we're going to have. And I thank the Lord for you each and every day. You are important. You are valuable more than gold and silver. And he loves you. His grace is sufficient. It's a beautiful grace he has over your life. So I bless you today. Uh, may you seek the Lord and what his will is for his life, for your life. Well, his life through you as the vessel. Be blessed and never give up and keep on going. God is good all the time. And he loves you right where you're at, right what you're doing. Amen.